What is up guys, my name is Duskull, and you're about to be watching some Demolition on Nuketown 2025. I'm going to be using the BR-23, or the B-23R, which is the correct name, I always get that wrong, sorry about that. But it is a burst fire weapon, it is a great gun, it is a secondary only, but you can use it as a primary if you do not have a primary selected. And in this video, I'm going to be using it with a silencer and I do believe extended mags. That, in my opinion, is the, the best combination for this gun. In this video, I go 46 and 5. Uh, you can kind of see why here. I get in their spawn extremely early. I stay in here for a while and I pretty much just run the ropes around them a couple of times. We end up doing this a few times over and being that this is the defending side, this was a great strategy for us to make sure that they did not plant the bomb. <coughs> Excuse me, for I am still sick, so sorry about that. But going ahead, the Hunter Killer Drone is probably one of the best kill streaks to run earlier on in the game. Uh, if you guys haven't figured that out yet, uh, the the setup that I'm using right now is genuinely the best setup that you want to be using if you are running solo. And personally, what I use is I use UAV, Hunter Killer Drone, and Care Package. Normally, I will give the Care Package to the the green guys or the guys that are not in my party so that I get some more XP but because I had a couple of party members with me I knew that I would be able to do perfectly fine while keeping my own care packages because they did the same thing and if you really want to take advantage of this setup um, lightweight scavenger and engineer is going to be your best bet lightweight helps you move a lot faster the scavenger really helps with the B23R because it burns through ammo like a mofo and then the engineer really helps with the changing of the care packages and telling you when there is going to be somebody coming around the corner. Not coming around the corner, but when there's equipment around the corner. Excuse me. Um, I'm using the Simtex grenades and the shot charges times two, mainly because that is the, the best way to play with a secondary only. And you don't really want to, to die a lot. The shot charge is kind of like the, I would like to call it the, the given or the the way that it's easy for you to get kills without dying a lot it basically the shock charges if you guys don't know it is one of the the tactical grenades within black ops 2 and it is very good in the sense that it has a very large radius that it affects people in and what it does is it, it paralyzes and impairs the person and right there uh, what is that, 20, thir 13 and 2, something like that, 23 and 2, I don't know, I can't see the scoreboard, it's a little bit too small, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more, there we go, but, <clears throat> we were making fun of that guy with the thermal camo, but the art of war, well the thermal attachment, but the art of war camo is actually a really sweet camo, and I saved the AGR for the attacking round, mainly because it is, really going to help us push the objective and that is the whole point in demolition is to make sure that we get both of the objectives uh, I know that in some of my previous videos I've actually had the, the voice commentary of my friends uh, some of the topics that we talk about uh, we don't want to be on recording so I make sure and turn recording off when that happens it's happened to be one of those games and so sorry about the non audio of my teammates but I can tell you what we were talking about for the most part and mainly we were talking about how bad these guys were this is one of those games where you get in with a really really bad enemy team and you just wreck on them this is a really good example of this the <coughs> excuse me the AGR is a, a great kill streak or score streak excuse me to use in demolition it can really help push a choke point or push the spawns or even defend or attack an objective like we're doing here. Uh, I'm covering Chris or Jenglang95 while he moves in to plant. And that, as you can see, is giving me a lot of kills. And by the way, guys, if you do not know how to take out an AGR, I do believe it takes four bullets from a KSG-12 or I think two EMP grenades or three RPGs. It's something like that. It's somewhere around those numbers, but... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm really sick. And the more I talk, the more I cough, ironically. But we are approaching halfway time in this video. And 
the RC, why did I change that? I don't know what it was beforehand. I just looked up and saw that it was an RCXD. I am not a fan of RCXDs in general, uh, especially on this game. It does seem that even if you are far away from somebody, it will kind of give you the kill. If it's just one person, it will kind of like increase the blast radius to give you that kill. But you don't seem to get a lot of double kills and even triples like you did in the first Black Ops. That, in a sense, is a good thing. But that car that I was looking at right there, um, as soon as you spawn, especially in Demolition, uh, it's a really good spot to hang around and kind of clip. Uh, clipping is the correct term for head glitching in this game, but it's a really good spot to clip or to just take cover at and defend. Well, not defend, but um, watch the, the side to the right of B so that way they don't come in and cut you guys off guard. Uh, the B23R has a, a little bit of recoil. But when you equip it with the silencer, it goes away for the most part. And actually, I do like having the knife as a secondary weapon. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you don't have a primary but you have a secondary, you have the secondary at default. And then the knife is on the, uh, the Y for Xbox. And I do believe it's triangle for PS3. Not entirely sure. I don't play on PS3. But uh, that's actually another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I do actually have a PS3. I just don't play on it because the heatsink is broken. And other than that, I'm actually going to be getting a, a new computer really soon. A really nice high-tech computer. I'm debating whether I want to get a laptop or I want to get a desktop or both. Because I am going to be downgrading my car to further my channel. And I know that that's a little bit insane. But I really do think that I could make this YouTube thing work out. And uh, I, I'm looking into getting some better equipment, and one of the ways that I can get some money for that is by downgrading from the car that I have right now to a a different car, an older model with a little bit more miles on it, uh, still reliable and everything, just to give me about, mm, say, five to anywhere from five to three grand, depending on how much the the car that I'm getting is, and that's going to give me some money to play around with in order to get some really nice uh, filming equipment and everything for you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos before, I actually want to start doing a lot of real life stuff and I plan on getting a GoPro, um, I plan on getting a, another airsoft gun, <clears throat> really just for um, for props, for skits, and for maybe doing some skirmishes with a friend or something like that. Uh, I'm really the only person in the neighborhood that is my age group and there's one of my other friends, really close friend Ryan. Um, we don't ever get to play anymore, sad face, but, uh, yeah, 16 still playing, anyways, <laughs> but, you gotta have something to do in your spare time, right? I do believe the game is about to come to an end, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit the commentary here, but if you guys like the video, definitely tell me why, uh, I'm trying to innovate some stuff on my channel, and I really want to see what you guys think about it, so any of your feedback would be amazing. If you guys do like the video, why not leave a like, and if you want to see some more content from me daily, definitely subscribe. As always guys, my name is Dust Golem, peace out and keep on gaming. Big win, job done.